This retreat taught me a lot. That the higher I go, the stronger the attack from the uh, Maya. Ne? I told you before, ne? it's so funny, I don't understand why. So much ego is still there after all these years. In case you think you still have a lot of ego, please cut it out, otherwise you go nowhere. No matter how much power I brought down for you, you can't. You can't touch it. It's too much ego, yeah? So you guys take care that your ego has to be dead, yeah? Otherwise you go nowhere in the spiritual realm. You don't go any higher. And you continue to be a slave to the Maya and thinking that you're great because you're vegetarian. What about vegetarian, I mean vegan? What's good about it? Huh? It's only good because you're compassionate. If you're not compassionate to me, your friend, whom can you be compassionate to, huh? Charity begins at home, no? Okay. A vegetarian, vegan, and sit a few hours a day sleeping. That's nothing. That doesn't make you a saint yet. No? The worm, the earthworm, he doesn't even eat vegetarian. He eat nothing. He only eat the earth. He harm no one. He harm no plants, no animals nothing, and he risked his life deep under there to bring food to us. He risked his little, humble, defenseless, helpless life to dig the earth, to make it airy so that we can farm. And he could die any time by the hole of the farmers, yeah? By the threat of our foot by the ants who can come and, and burn his whole body with their stings, or the bees, or whoever. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. So if you are vegetarian or vegan and you sit a few lousy hours and sleep in nothing, you are nothing. Don't be too proud. Don't keep nourishing your ego to this extent so you watch out. Huh? You watch yourself. You watch yourself as if your life hang on it. Don't watch me. Don't watch your neighbors. Don't watch other disciples. Watch yourself. Every day you have to check if, if, if your ego is still there or if it's growing bigger than usual. So please check yourself up, okay? Don't be too proud of yourself. You are nobody truly. Just because you see it vegetarian, the cow also do it all day long since the day they, the day they're born. They don't even eat vegetarian; eat only grass. Yeah. The worm, I told you already, he worked very hard. Without the worms, many places cannot be cultivated, cannot plant vegetable for you to eat, and the little bees. Eh? He also make food for us make everything grow accordingly. Even nowadays, uh, like in some, some of the, um, the farmers, eh? they could even pollinize themselves, yes, but they even brought the bees in to do it, because the bees do it better. They admit it like that. Uh, the, the pollinized fruit that they make, much better than the one that humanly made. So nature is always the best, uh, by the way, yeah? And those little bees, they are workers for us. The little worm that we looked down upon, that could not speak for himself, could not defend himself, these are benefactors of humans and animals and this planet. But they never claim they are grand or great or anything. The sun never claimed his greatness. The moon also the earth saver. If the moon has been far away from the orbit, the far away than where the moon is right now, we don't exist here. We can't exist. Everything depends on such factor that we live here, that we have a good life, and then we abuse the planet, of course. And even come in, have a master, try to teach you so diligently all this year, still don't learn anything. 
Really beautiful. Such a shame.